Welcome back to my beautifully chaotic little art studio. Um, we're gonna do something a little different this time. So I live in the Pacific Northwest and as we're nearing the end of summer, I thought I would give you a little task before we start creating together. Um, I challenge you to go out into nature. I challenge you to take five, 10 minutes, 30 to an hour, whatever you have time for, and go sit on the grass in your front yard or go on a walk, go to the beach or a river or the mountains. And to kind of just take in the sights, the sounds, the smells, um, because we're gonna use that when we create our art piece. Um, as I've told you guys before, when I create art, it's not, there's no rhyme or reason. Um, that's why I call my space beautifully chaotic. Um, and I thought I would challenge you guys to not really think about things um, or rather let everything come in. I challenge you guys to create a piece that is your own. You could paint a mountain, you could paint a flower, you could be abstract uh, and paint the way I paint, but it's all kind of up to you. Um, whatever you're feeling, whatever inspires you. Um, and then I'm going to show you the paints and the tools I used to create my piece and kind of take you on the journey of what step-by-step step what mine's gonna look like and I'll show you the finished product at the end. But this is kind of giving you a challenge to do something yourself um, and without my instruction, other than showing you what I took from this little challenge of a um, art walk. So first things first, we gotta get out in nature. So come join me while I go take my walk. So these are the tools I'm going to be using today. Um, I'm using a variety of brushes, different sizes, as well as a couple different palette knives and some other cool little tools um, that I have. And so I'm going to get started. Let me show you the paint first that I'm going to be using. So since we're doing something different today, I'm going to try these gel sticks that I just brought just for some accent once I'm done with the painting. Um, and then just a variety of blues. I'm going to add some splashes of maybe reds or pinks, possibly some greens. And again, these all vary in price. These are probably gosh, maybe $2. Um, and you can buy paints up to like $15 or more. So this is what I'm gonna be using, let's get started. Before I start on my piece, I would really like to encourage you to take this creative process on by yourself. Um, again, as I said before, I'm not gonna really instruct you or tell you what to do. I want it to be your own creation. So put your brush to the canvas and let's see where we go.
um, my painting was inspired by my walk to the beach. Um, I pulled a lot of blues, but I also pulled a lot of colors that I didn't necessarily see, but I thought looked good with the blues. Um, so thank you again for joining me on this adventure. I hope you had as much fun as I did, and I can't wait to show you what I created.